Here's the new grab bar, footing spreader rebar cleat, and a form brace. It's adjustable, so you can click it from a 14 inch footing, 15, the click of a button, 16, 17, and 18, all in one bracket. We're doing a 16 inch footing, so I'm going to click it back in down to a 16 inch footing. Now we also have it available on a fixed end for three quarter or inch and a half forms or an adjustable end, which is very convenient. So you have a two by eight on this one or a two by four. You can click of a button and make it into three quarter inch forms or one by inch. If you have a lap on a one by four and you need an inch and a half wide, click your buttons, click it out very simply to an inch and a half, and now you have a lap. If you lap your two by eight lumber, we do have a three inch adjustable end for your two by material laps. So simply adjust it to where you need it, pop it on your forms, Install your rebar in seconds, right in these nice adjustable rebar saddles. Rebar pops in just like that. Occasionally you have a lap on your rebar, so it is all designed to accept a lap on both sides or one side. And that is the grab bar. If you have a vertical, hook bar you want to hook. Here is a snap bar for vertical hook installation. Simply place your hook on a solid surface, put the snap bar down, and roll it in from the bottom to the top or from the top to the bottom, snapping it on. Now, when it comes time to install the hooks, Lay them out accordingly when it's time to snap them in. You have a sideways snap and a straight up and down snap. Always pull the sideways snap towards you. Snapping it into place. Opposite side down. Setting your rebar track. If you need to tighten up the hook for contact, just gently walk, wiggle it back and forth and pull it upwards and then it is tight. Let's do that again. Always pull towards you. This is also for the lap. If you have one, it doesn't matter, but it's for the lap. And I'm going to alternate the hooks to show you how to alternate. So snap it in place. Snap the other side down. And you can pivot this hook the alternating direction. So now you have alternating hooks, very simple and clean. I'll tighten that one up. Ready to pour. You can hit it with a concrete pump, does not matter. There is nothing in your way. There are no cleats across, no braces, no nailing on two by fours for your verticals. There is no tie wire involved here. And that is a complete system. Thank you.